Guys, all the cars that you see in these videos are for sale on my website, www.woodsandbarclay.com. Enjoy the video. Hey everyone, welcome back to the channel. Today is test drive day for this beautiful 1985 California 300 CD. So let's go ahead and go for a ride. All right, we've got a cold engine, so we're getting to see a uh, cold start here. Man, look at that dash. Doesn't get any better than that, guys. Anyway, let's go ahead and do a cold start. Wait for the glow plugs. Beautiful. All right. Let's get on the road. All right, we have the AC on low. Hopefully it doesn't make noise in the camera. And we're just gonna take it up here. We'll drive through uh, downtown Roswell and then we'll take it out to Georgia 400 get it up to speed, test everything out, test the brakes, the cruise control. Odometer is correctly rolling over here, I can see. Engine temp is just barely starting to come up. Man, I just love these California cars. Uh, you know, in 85, they did a different transmission for the California models. Uh, the other 49 states had a 722.3, and I think the California had a 722.4. Uh, I might have gotten that backwards. I think that's correct. Um, but yeah, I just love how these transmissions shift on the California cars. Yeah, to, to me it always feels like the California models are like, they seem to be a little quicker off the line. I'm not sure if that's the transmission or the turbos they used. But yeah, I'm, I always talk about the very first thing I notice when I drive, a, every time I drive one of these vehicles, because they're all unique. Um, and without a doubt, the first thing I always notice on these California models is the transmission and shifting quality. Oh, it's got really nice brakes too. Okay, we're coming up to engine temp, almost at 80 degrees. All the gauges are reading correct. And we can see the clock is in fact working. Everything works on this car. The AC is very nice. Also, you know, this being a coupe, uh, coupes are notorious for having wind noise in the car. If the uh, if the huge gasket that goes around, you know, there's no B pillar, so if that gasket is worn out, you're going to get wind noise. And uh, yeah, there's there's no wind noise in here. Gasket's in really good condition. The other thing I noticed about this car is how comfortable the seat is. These seats feel like they're brand new. There's no, sometimes on the old 123s, the, the seats might lean a little bit or be too soft. Uh, this one is very firm and very comfortable. It was probably originally owned by a female because the seat's not worn out at all. The other thing I immediately noticed about this vehicle, and it's not really related to driving it, but it's the condition of this dash. Uh, it's one of the nicest original dashes I've seen. Obviously, Garage kept its entire life. You know, sometimes they have a crack over here by the speaker uh, or up here by the vents, and, and this, this dash is it's not only flawless, but it looks brand new. Pretty remarkable. All right, here's our on-ramp. 
we might be able to get a zero to 60. All right, we're gonna have to do kind of a rolling start, but here we go, guys. guys just watch the odometer I mean the speedometer oh yeah this is an extremely healthy engine per uh, that, that's perfect you couldn't ask for a better 617 engine I know that was a rolling start and I really couldn't time it too well but this is a fantastic engine I mean it's only got 70,000 miles on it it's what I would expect all right let's go ahead and merge over here We'll go ahead and get it up to speed. Yeah, check that out. We're running 70, about, gosh, it's like 2,900 RPMs. We'll go ahead and get it on up to speed here. Let's see what she can do. We're in the fast lane. That's fantastic. I'm going to try the uh, cruise control. All right, the cruise control is on, and you can see my foot is not on the pedal. And we're just cruising at 80. All right, let me go ahead and take the cruise control off. Yeah, this is a great 85 model. This is a great example. There's kind of the sweet spot right there. I know there's a glare, sorry about that. We're about 3,000, 3,200 RPMs, running almost 80. You know, it has a special, uh, the California cars or the 85 models have the special rear gear. So they get a little lower RPM at highway speed. All right, off this exit, I'm gonna test the brake system. I want you guys to watch the uh, speedometer and I'm gonna hit the brakes hard. All right, let me just make sure this car is not gonna come behind me. Okay, here we go, ready? One, two, three, brake. Oh yeah, fantastic braking. I can tell it's got new brake pads on it and the brakes are in excellent condition. All right, we're just gonna spin around here and uh, get back on the interstate and head back to the shop. So I was just running it really hard and you can see with the AC on, the AC has been on the entire time. Our temp is slightly above 80. Oil pressure at idle is excellent. RPM uh, is perfect at idle. Yeah, everything is in excellent condition. See if we can get out in front here and do a hard acceleration again. I can tell the valves are adjusted perfect. Uh, we're gonna have traffic. I'm not gonna be able to do it. Yeah, this this is the car that I would have no doubt in my mind about driving it straight to California right now. The steering is extremely tight too. I can tell the uh, there's no worn out suspension components. The steering box is very tight. There's no slop in the steering wheel. I'm just uh, under full throttle acceleration right now. Yeah, this thing will book it. I mean, that's 90. I'm going to back off a little bit. Just take it, take it down a notch. Well, this car, this passes the test drive with flying colors. Um, this is 
this is one of the nicest coupes I've driven. Uh, like I said, I'm kind of fond of these 85 California models. They're just, there's something a little special about them. They're a little different than the federal models. And uh, this is a fantastic vehicle. Um, I give it a 10 out of 10. So anyway, I'm going to head back to the shop. Hope you enjoyed the uh, test drive video. We'll record a little more footage, and uh, we'll see you next time. You know, this might sound uh, kind of petty, but the thing I like about classic cars when you're driving them is how high the doors are. Modern cars, the doors are really high, I guess for safety regulations, but on a classic car, you can rest your elbow on the door while you're driving, and it's like the perfect height. They're just, classic cars were designed right. The modern cars are just awful. I think classic cars are just way more comfortable. I guess it's all the safety regulations and whatnot. We're going to do a little uphill acceleration here. Um, this is a pretty steep hill that heads up to uh, back to my shop. And I'm just going to mash the throttle right here from a stop. Oh, plenty of power. I mean, we're accelerating up, up this hill. Just beautiful in the springtime. Check it out through here. Now the AC is so good on this vehicle that I have had it on low. There's the low setting the entire time. I have not had to put it on high and it's plenty cold. Anyway, that's it for me, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video, and we will see you next time.